This is an update on the self-destructing USB drive. <sighs> All right, so this is not really the video that I wanted to make. It's been six months now and I've made some other videos and I've gotten comments saying what's going on with the self-destructing USB drive? Which is fair because I said the crowd supply campaign would be up like five months ago and that hasn't happened. Story time. So the gist of basically what happened is I can't get the flash memory to blow up. And that's a problem because it's a key feature of the product. I got it working once with the original circuit, um, the charge pump voltage doubler, but that hasn't been reproducible. I then spun a third board that reverses the polarity of the flash memory rather than overloading the voltage rails, meaning rather than getting plus three volts in ground, it would get ground in plus three volts, effectively reversing the current. This drew around an amp from my computer and got really hot, like 160 degrees Celsius hot. And I thought this was more than enough to smoke out the flash memory and destroy it in a reproducible way. But when I went to check the contents of the flash, it was there, fine. Not one bit was reversed or deleted or anything. I then started looking into different materials that might combust at 160 degrees Celsius or around that region. I was grinding up matches, packing those into the device, heating it up, running it, and then it really hit me that this device isn't supposed to explode. This is a security device that's meant for professionals and hobbyists, and it's supposed to silently destroy itself. So if I can't get the flash memory to silently destroy itself, I'm either gonna have to change the product features or not go ahead with producing the product. So I have one more trick up my sleeve where I'm gonna increase the voltage of the flash memory while reversing the polarity. If that doesn't smoke out the flash, I'm gonna to have to ship the product with a reduced feature set. At this point, I'd just like to thank everybody that supported this channel and this project up until now. I know it probably hasn't happened as fast as people want it to, but I do have full-time work that I'm also working on at the same time. Additionally, I think that it's probably not negative. There isn't really any open source flash drives that exist in the market right now, so that's one thing. Uh, secondly, the mechanism with the three rapid plug-in things is kind of a cool little circuit, and that seems to be working awesome. And thirdly, there's the inhibit circuitry that inhibits access to the flash memory. So even without the full destruction, which I am trying to get working eventually, I think there is a lot of work that's very interesting that's been done on this project so far. So I'll keep you guys informed. I'm going to be posting some more videos on other projects. I have a whole new product coming up that's a collaboration with another company and I'm stoked to get working on other things and also finish this project. So thank you. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe and yeah, I'll see you when I see you. Ciao.